Yes, 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 who got brands talking? Brandlive.co.za Hello and welcome to Creative Ghettos, the show that explores various creative industries and the Africans who push them forward. Each week I will spend 30 minutes unveiling excellent and exciting progress within creative industries, including but not limited to visual art, architecture, design, food, film and publishing. My name is Gwane Lugunene. Thank you for joining me right here on brandlive.co.za. Alex MCV. In the realm of fine art, this name will soon need no formal introduction. Alex is fast becoming the one to watch in the art industry. He is someone with a very unique, soul-defying history and has passioned his craft to becoming a truly remarkable, award-winning artist. He also just so happens to be my guest right here on Creative Getters today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so for, for having me. Yes, Alex, thank you so much for joining me. Do you know, I was actually telling someone that it took me probably a year to get to yeah. sit with you finally. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> yeah. But you know, that's a nice introduction. I really love that. Yes, yeah, really well, it's that. true though. Yes, it it's is. true. It's yes. true. Thank okay, you so well, much. Eh? No, no, you know, thank you. Um, okay, so let's just get into why art, you know, out of all the fields that yeah. you could have possibly chosen to contribute to, what was it about art? Um, for me, like, you know, at a younger age, I felt like, you know, um, I had like a voice, you know, to, to, to talk about and let people know. Um, so using art, it's a way of like, you know, um, try to narrate it in, in, in a good way and making sure that people try to understand where we're coming from at the same time. Because mm. everyone, I feel like, you know, they have their story, but, you know, um, we, we we lack, you know, in terms of when it comes to the platform, what can we use and so forth. So for me, at a young age, I felt like, you know, um, expressing myself with like using art, you know, in terms of painting, yeah. um, that was, you know, um, a great move and, um, you know, um, a great start, like, you know, to make sure I, 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 I give myself a voice and make sure that people, you know, hear it. And so at this younger age, how old were you when you realized that you want to communicate through this medium? Um, it started when I was doing grade two. <laughs> <laughs> started when I was doing grade two because yeah. like I was helping this guy. I, st- I, I even met him like, you know, when I finished my last day at varsity, uh. you know, um, I, I, I threw him a pass. Okay. So from there, like for me, um, it started there. But, you know, sometimes you have that feeling that, you know, um, I want to do this, I want to do that. Then when, like, I kept, like, you know, drawing and, like, growing up at the age of eight, nine, mm. I started to, like, you know, to realize that, you know what, I want, like, you know, to be an artist. And, and I mean, so grade two, primary school, very young age. Most people don't actually even know what it is that they want to do. Yeah. But then you and you ended up being mentored by Anton Smith. Tell us about the process to getting there because you went to the free states. It yes. was time okay. in the free states. Mm-hmm. Um, such a great history, you know, from that. <laughs> okay, like I was born in Newcastle, yeah. Guazul Natal. Then um because of my father, we were supposed to move all together because, you know, he got a position to work in, um, mm. in Free Aid, Free State. So when we got there, um, I spent most of my childhood in Free Aid. I think a lot of people that, that I've met um, or made, like, people that know me, they know me from Free Aid. Mm. So um, when, when we got there, I, I, I started, like, you know, to really, like, look for ways to express myself you know bigger than i was using you know um when when i started you know in grade two Mm. so i met this lady because i I had this friend by the name of togo zani binda yeah um i I kept like you know going with him attending those art classes because i wasn't like invited he was the one who was invited Uh, he was an artist yeah he was an artist so i was just being a friend because he's an artist as well (laughs) you know you know you have to make ways you know to (laughs) yeah networking yeah Yeah. (laughs) you know it was part of networking at a younger age i didn't even know that that was networking so we became friends found out that, you know, um, some things he couldn't do, like, you know, to communicate um, with, like, you know, the mentor that we had, of which it was Kherna. The name is Kherna Fanehen. Kherna, yes. So she's been there, like, you know, um, 
um, helping us, you know, like, you know, to, to learn more about art, um, the medium, the oils, you know, how to paint, how to, to be an artist, how to engage, you know, yourself mm. as an artist through the, the art industry. And you can imagine we, I was doing um, grade nine. At that time, I'm already like, you know, te- you know the, she was busy telling me about we have to engage yourself in such a, in such a manner, in that manner, in order like wow. to grow. So for me, it stuck, you know, to to realize as much as I wanted this to be a dream, yeah. it stuck with me because I wanted like, you know, to to um, to be a professional artist no matter what. So as much as I had this um, dark, you know, um, you know, the, the history that we had, like, you know, with my father, like, Your you know, y- yeah, the rest of the family, like, it's very, like, um, um, devastating, you know, at some point. So I had, like, you know, to find ways in order, like, you know, to, to, to express myself. Because sometimes you find that, you know, I, I came to the point where I was just suicidal, you know, wow. viol- and I was just, like, angry, you know. The yeah. violence was the only thing that I could, like, you know, express myself. Yeah. Seeing someone crying, for me, that was... You know, so tell us about tell us about your 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 uh, um, growing up. How how was that? What what were the things that are clearly inspiring you right now or driving your creative agenda forward? How was that? How was growing up? Um, I just wanted like to touch on that point of um, how did you able to, uh, how did we manage to go to to Anton Smith? Yes. Yeah. So I was using that platform, you know, as much as the you know that concept of the violence and so forth was always there like in my life so i had like you know to express it in my art so mm. winning the, the the competition that was um i i don't it was grassland the man the competition it was there in free state i forgot where it was um i won the the, the first prize on painting then the second prize on sculpturing wow so, so that lady her nafine she 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 took me and togozani togozani was good when it comes to sculpturing so we were we were more than sixty two students uh. in that class, so we were only two left. Everyone like you know they quitted, so that was the opportunity for me to see myself growing at that age. So even though I didn't know much about art, but for me that was an int- introduction, knowing exactly that I'm going you know to Bronco Spread and I'm going to <laughs> you know to see like a big studio. I don't even know. I Did you know who Anton Smith I, was at I, the time? I, I didn't know. I was just <laughs> happy that I'm going to to meet this artist. They, you know, our, our mentor Herna, yeah. she once said that you know it's it's, it's a very big you know uh, South African South African artist. You know, um, he's a sculptor. So that's that that really like made me to be happy. Yeah. So I was looking for it and we went there because of that. So it's her. She she made the connections for us to 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 learn more because she saw like you know um, the motive of like learning a lot and like growing as young artist. And do you ever delve into into sculpture because I'm sculpture because I've never actually seen any sculpture work that you've done. Uh, it's usually just painting. Sc- sc- sculpture like. It, it, you know, like everyone, they have their own thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they have their own thing. <laughs> and sculpture's not yours. For me, <laughs> I feel like there's so much to do. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't get to be myself as much as I paint. Ah. Yeah, but I had to try because this was an opportunity and I had to learn. No matter what, I was like, I'm going to learn. And mm. that time, like we were working, it was winter. You can imagine like, you know, June july you mm. know it's very cold and you have to you know control the clay like you know mold it and so forth like it's hard work that is the hard work for me i'm all about like relaxing <laughs> expressing myself so i felt like it was like a real like you know change like from painting to sculpture mm. but you know it was nice because even when i, I even um the, the, the course that i was doing fine art when i went to varsity i still like found it like i had to do sculpture and I struggle like that is bizarre. You know, sometimes I think of artists that they are all rounders, that they yeah. can do sculpture, they can paint, they can now it use is, it, various mediums yeah. to create whatever. But I think it depends on how good you are. Mm. You find that you know, if you can give me clay right now, I can mold something, but you can see this is the face. But it, it's not gonna look as I as the way you want it yeah, to look. The way I want it to yeah. look. And I'm not gonna be happy with it, but it's gonna be a face. <laughs> 
<laughs> you see? Yeah, which is never going to be good enough. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but compared to when it comes to painting and drawing, printmaking, that's where I get like to be me. You know, I get mm. to be free. I get like you know to express myself very well. Okay, so let's talk about Newcastle. Emma Tatin. Emma Tatin. Emma Tatin. Yes. Oh, Emma Tatin. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, okay, I, you know I, it, when I was reading it, I'm like, I wonder where this place is. And now yeah. that you're saying, okay, it's Emma Tatin. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Now tell me how, how growing up was, was like um, siblings and just your experience of childhood. Yeah. No, as much as I'm saying, um, I've grew there, grew up there, but the problem is that as I'm saying, we had to go and live in in Free State in Friday. So mm. when I got in Free State, I was I went there to do grade two. Okay, so wow. there's no much childhood that I spent in Newcastle in Matadin. Okay, okay. But I was born there. So most of my childhood it was in um Friede. Because I left Friede when I was doing grade ten. Okay. Yeah. So but it, I've made like growing up in Friede, it was so nice and cool. Just that for me, I felt like, you know, I was in, you know, a child who's happy because of the environment where I'm coming from. Like going to school, seeing kids playing around, my classmate, you know, trying to be friends with me. For me, it was very difficult because knowing exactly that I have this anger, um, you know, this anger that I feel like I have to express to other people in order like to find peace in my in myself. It mm. was very difficult because I was always fighting, you know, trying, you know, to, to express this anger. But at the same time, this pain that I had all along, you know, because of our father, mm. I saw that, you know, it was wrong of, you know, trying, you know, to express it to other kids. Because okay. if someone, you know, I just, yeah, you know, you just like, you know, what, what did you do? You're not even saying sorry. You know, so I feel like, you know, what this is not who I want to be. As much as I want, to, I have a dream mm. and I want to to make my mom proud. For me, it was, you know, a big step to make sure that I change from there. That's why art has always been there. Okay, so right now we're going to take a short break and I want to find out more exactly about what it is that caused all this anger and, and frustration that is part of what you do right now. Yeah. Um, so we'll speak about that shortly. Alex MCV. Okay. You're listening to brandlive.co.za, an industry first in the world of internet radio. Not only are we an internet radio station, we are an internet radio platform for your brand. So why not expose your brand to potentially thousands of listeners and improve your customer relationships and brand equity with podcasts and live broadcasts? Be sure to check brandlive.co.za for more information. Brandlive.co.za Harnessing the power of internet radio. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. And live. No doubt. <laughs> Live from 27 boxes in the heart of Melville, this is brandlive.co.za. Making a bold statement yet blending into the surrounding suburbs of Melville, 27 boxes is a realization of edgy design and practical implementation. A radical departure from the shopping malls of our generation, yet not a return to the high streets of our youth. 27 Boxes showcases the best of a shopping center set in a garden, surrounded by the bohemian suburb that is Mulville. 27 Boxes, shop, play, eat. You're listening to brandlive.co.za. Welcome back to Creative Ghettos. Award-winning fine artist Alex MCB is hanging out with me. So we've gone through the phenomenal foundation phase of your career. I yes. want to I want to dive straight into your work. Who is this guy in the plastic bag? What's his history? Um, his, his story. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm using myself mm. and my brother. Ah. Sometimes if like, you know, He's not like doing the position that I work like the position that I want when we're doing photo shoots. Yeah. Um, taking the plastic then away, then you do the photo shoot of me. 
Oh, so these yeah. are actual. I thought they were just people that no. you're coming out. Uh, as much as I'm with. saying, you know, as much as the, the, the you know the past that I had, yeah, it was it's very emotional. So everything I do, like you know, the process, you know, from the photo shoots, um, sketching and then painting, um, from the final piece, mm. it's very emotional from the start. So uh, like I, I I make sure that you know what happened in the in the past, I I bring it back mm. like. Um, to 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 express it the way it was, and take whatever is happening now and express it the way the way it is, and making sure that I fuse everything together. Cause, you know, this process is not just about me. Mm. There are a lot of people who are experiencing what I've experienced from the you know what my father did. You know, um, like I, I even like you know encountered like you know um, situation where I nearly died, and it's not like one time or in in like yeah entertaining yeah we find that you know um it's, it's it's a very like you know difficult like situation that i had like you know to to encounter but finding myself you know um you know starting from doing those photo shoots and you know from sketching and painting for mm -hmm. me it's just you know about you know making sure that i express the, the emotion very well so i use my brother and myself mm -hmm. and if, if he's not doing the way i want in his seven some you know because it's all about you know because using him um it's, it's a good thing because we've been there okay whatever that happened or he knows it so it's, it's for me it's not a stress to to say you know what do this, you know, express yourself like this, mm. show the emotions like this. If I say, hey, show the emotions like this, it's just like... And what emotions are these that you're trying to bring out? Um, okay, as much as I, I, I usually do this hashtag dark to light, you know, on mm. my social media handle, it's because of the transition that I took. Um, the dark, it's filled with pain, mm. um, violence, the anger, you know, and then the light is filled with happiness, um, the, 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 the love, the care that I'm starting to experience <laughs> as much as I've, like, you know, I've grown up. Mm. So all that, um, um, the dark that I'm talking about filled with um, um, pain, the violence and so forth, those are the emotions that I'm bringing out and then making sure that there's a transition from that to the light. Okay. And um, the plastic, what does that represent? The plastic, like, I'm um, using it, um, you know, like, knowing exactly that I've been in those situations that I've been at, some I can't, like, you know, go deep into them, but I will suggest if, like, people can go, like, into my social media handles, mm. um, they will get, like, you know, to, to really, like, um, see where I'll be exhibiting, then they will know more, you know, um, about, you know, these... Um, um, situations that you know, I, I, I don't want to go deep about them right now because yeah. I feel like when I'm exhibiting, that's the good place, like you know, to express everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'm using the plastic bag like to to express the emotion because I feel like the plastic bag, you know, really express that suffocation. Wow. So this is incredible. Yes, yes. Yes. So the suffocation, I feel like you know, it's something that I felt. Mm. I've spent like a long span of my life feeling um, devastated, like so stoic and to the point that, you know, I feel like I'm suffocating. Mm. So mm. for me, um, it was like, like that concept of using a plastic bag, it took me three years to come up with it. Three years. Like from my varsity years, from my varsity years to the end, like I've been like, you know, coming like, you know, trying like, you know, to... Um, write it down, making sure that whenever when I finish my first tears, I'll be able to express it the way I want. Do you find some kind of healing or even an understanding about life when you when you paint or dream up the ideas that oh, you paint? It's too much. I really like get to 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 heal a lot because mm. you know sometimes they usually say you you have to go and see the psychologist they're gonna help you yeah. you, know, you know to to deal with your problems and so forth i've been there <laughs> i've been there like every and time nothing every time when you sleep and it's 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 11 o'clock at night and you're looking on top of your roof that's where everything comes back you understand mm -hmm. everyone is dealing with that i feel like if you've been in pain it's very hard like you know to shy away from all that happened from you i there, there, there was this woman who came to me telling me that um, 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 she was raped. Mm. 
and it's very hard like you know to deal with that because no one understand her mm. and she saw my work because i was like you know i i was invited like to show my work you know to showcase there and she was like afterwards she came to me she said alex you know what i understand what you're talking about and now i get to really understand what i should do about my life because my work is not about helping me but to say to you you know what find something to deal with that before it's too late because it can really get to that point is too late you know so as much as we young and we have dreams and we want to make our parents happy we don't want to waste that time no. there's, there's no time to waste you know <laughs> as much as i've no. been to those situation when I, where i nearly died for me coming back you know to be alive as i am right now it's a blessing and your 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 exhibition last year yes it was last year at lizamo yeah um yes. it was co- it was called ngulego Ngul- Ngul- freedom yes. so okay yeah. okay let me get to that you oh, know yeah. you yeah. know ngulego <laughs> um it's my name ngulego means freedom yes so as much as i'm ngulego and i'm the first name is alex then the second name is ngulego So my mom told me that hey Nkulego means freedom. I've never felt the freedom that you know she's talking about <laughs> the irony. Yes. So I was like, hey, if I've never felt the freedom that you're talking about and now I feel, you know, alive as much as um I'm happy, I'm feeling this love, um I I, I see the care from the people around me. For me that's being alive and that's happiness. So I was like, and this is my freedom. Because now I'm starting to do everything I want. Mm. In the past, I couldn't like, you know, even like, you know, I don't want to like touch too much, but it was very hard because I had like, you know, to, you know, I had like, you know, to try by all means if my father is not there to run away to 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 teach her now and to, to learn quick and go back home quick. No way. So it, it was really like. That was hard. So yeah. you were living like under a microscope basically. Everyone was watching your every move. It, it was it was just too much. Yeah. You know when you're knowing exactly that you know we're not going to shy away and act as if um we we don't get to see people getting um abused by you know the father figure in the household. It happens a lot in the in the in, in the household. Mm. Especially like if yeah you get like to experience a lot of control like yeah. a lot of things coming from him mm. so for me I had like you know to try by all means if he's not around to run away fast and learn at least to learn you know how to shade and then she's gonna show me and I'll be like how to mix a paint you know she's gonna show me and I'll be like Well, what is well, what is the portrait what is the landscape she's going to like give me images and then I'll be say I'll be saying thank you so much then I'll run away fast to back before, home before he comes back so it's part so of So you learned under very extreme conditions it, it was just tough like tough conditions yeah so I didn't tough. have that freedom yeah that is the part that I'm going to talk about when it comes to freedom I didn't feel it so as much as now I'm feeling this freedom for me as the opportunity came since i won it tamim nearly um the 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 painting merit award yeah. that and then the the lisa mo associates mentorship cro- program mm. it gave me um that opportunity to hold like a solo project in the year of 2017 okay and because i won in 2016 yes. yeah so in 2017 i got that opportunity as much as that it was a dream um 10 years ago to say you know what mom one day when i do a solo like a solo exhibition i will name it in kulego <laughs> so and it happened it happened yes. like everything that i'm doing right now you know it's it's a blessing and i'm always going to thank jehovah because i know that you know what whatever that i'm doing it's a blessing i wasn't supposed to be here that's why every time when like you know i i, I take a nap mm. that 30 minutes one hour nap and when i wake up and go back to work i always have that dream to say you know what alex 12 years back you said you want to do this you have to work hard for it and that's the drive that I have mm. and I want to make my mom proud no exact like I was supposed to be dead like um the time when I was in hospital they told me that I have two hours to live wow. you can imagine what was happening in my mind and that's why I'm using this plastic bag to express the this um um concept and that last moment you know that i had you know in my mind you mm. know um the imaginations and conversations so i'm fusing everything together 
to come up with this concept. Yeah, it's important not to take uh, the time that you ha- that you have for granted, you know. Yes. Um, so just, you know, uh, where can people see, or get in touch with you to buy your artworks? Um, usually, like, you know, being an artist is not like you, like, retail stores, you know, you, you sell each and every day or you sell... It doesn't mm-hmm. happen like that. Okay. You know, you find that you can sell this time and then... You don't sell for a while. Yeah, it's going to yeah. like take like maybe four months, six months. It depends on who you are as an artist. Yeah. So for me, like I'm using social media, you know, um, to let people get to know where to get reach of me. Which is a great platform. So like I'm using Instagram, they can get me at um, alex.mcb like small letters. Then on like on Facebook is just Alex MC. So and, okay. Oh they get like they will get like to see every work I have, even the new ones that I keep posting. So usually people um who are, lo- are lovers of art, they buy or some they, they get to buy when I'm exhibiting. Some then you you find that they just want commission work. Of which is a great thing. So I, I, I oh, do you do, do commission work? Yes, I do commission work. It's pencil and oil. So okay. uh, and do you have any exciting plans for the year ahead? 2018 just started, so yeah. is there anything that you can reveal? I know everyone right now is just saying, oh, no, can't reveal anything. Mm. Is there anything that you can reveal? Uh, everything for now is still on the pipeline. Okay. You know, um, I can't talk about it, but the year is so exciting for me because, as I'm saying, 12 years back, I had dreams. So these dreams or whatever projects that I'm working on right now, there are dreams that I had. So I'm happy that I'm going to be partaking in them. But I'm working like on some group exhibitions as well. So I'm going to post about it so people get to come and attend and see what I'm talking about. Excellent. Alex, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank um, you. I really wish you all the best for the year ahead. And and, and, and I'm definitely going to come through to your next exhibition. But yeah, yeah. I hope other people will also, you know, go through, go to your exhibition, but also the, the walkthroughs, just so that they can hear yes, the more about. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just the, so that they can hear more. You were there more. also, remember? Yes, I was. And that's how, <laughs> yeah. I, that's how I was introduced yeah, to you in your work. Yeah. Just to know more about your story and, and, and actually get to see the paintings yes. up close, because that is some phenomenal phenomenal work that you yeah. do because so much like this this growth you know in everything that i do so, so much growth even now yeah. like just looking back from the first time i saw your work till today yes. they, it, there's been a, a transformation of some sort <laughs> thank you, thank great you. thank you alex thank uh, you to, so much. to find out more about the africans who drive various creative industries forward make sure to follow creative ghettos on instagram at creative ghettos my name is Gwane Lukunene. Join me again next Friday from 2 to 2.30 p.m. for another impactful show. Bye for now. You're listening to brandlive.co.za, an industry first in the world of internet radio. Not only are we an internet radio station, we are an internet radio platform for your brand. So why not expose your brand to potentially thousands of listeners and improve your customer relationships and brand equity with podcasts and live broadcasts? Be sure to check brandlive.co.za for more information. brandlive.co.za, harnessing the power of internet radio.